So you want to start selling on the Walmart marketplace. Well, in this video, we're going to be going over how to apply to Walmart and how to get approved, but more importantly, what to do if you're rejected. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Noah and I'm a seven figure Walmart seller. I create content all about selling on Walmart and different ways to run your business from wholesale arbitrage to private label. Really quickly, before we get to the video, I just want to quickly mention that I created a free course that's a step-by-step -step guide on how to sell on Walmart and that's linked down below. The process for applying to Walmart can be summarized into three different stages. The first is going to be the initial application. This is where you enter in your information and you sort of create your account for selling on Walmart. Next, after you're preliminarily approved, you can go through the steps of actually submitting your information. And this is where they're going to determine if you are approved or if you are rejected. So you're gonna enter in your information like your address, your return information, as well as your payment information. And then based on everything that you give them, here they're going to go ahead and make the ultimate decision. And lastly, the third step is once you get approved, then you can go ahead and you can start listing items as well as you can start selling on Walmart. Here's what to know before you start the application process. So before you actually start applying, it's important to look at this list. This is officially from Walmart and here's everything that you need to have on hand before you apply. Walmart is not like Amazon or eBay. They have very specific things that they require. First, you're going to need a business tax ID or an EIN. Now, if you don't have one, then I have a video listed down below that's going to show you how to do this step by step and it's completely free. They will not accept a social security number. Next, you're going to need supporting documents that verify your business name and address. Now for me, they didn't ask this, but it's really important to have this on hand, such as your articles of incorporation for either your company, as well as you can also have your letter from your EIN or at the IRS. But basically you just want all these documents on hand and the most important part, you want them to match. So your EIN document needs to match your business document and everything just needs to have the same address, the same business name, etc. Lastly, they want to see a history of marketplace or e-commerce success. So this can mean selling on Amazon. It can mean having a D2C website on Shopify or big commerce, for example. It could mean selling on eBay. Essentially, they just want to see that you have success or that you have experience selling on another marketplace. The last two requirements sort of go hand in hand. They want you to have products that have GTIN or UPC GS1 company prefix numbers. So this means that all of your products need to actually have barcodes that are inside the GS1 database. And if you're reselling, then most of your products probably already have this. But if you're doing private label, you want to make sure that you are getting legitimate barcodes that are registered with GS1. And the other point is that they want a catalog or they want to see products that you're selling on other marketplaces or that you're going to show them that are not prohibited by Walmart. So there is a list of the products that are linked, and I'm also going to link that down below. And I would just quickly peruse that. It's going to be stuff that are prohibited, like flammable stuff. It's just going to be stuff that you would really not be allowed to sell on other marketplaces like firearms. So most of you will probably not sell that, but there are some other things that you might want to check out and just to make sure that your catalog is clean before applying. And the other thing is they just want a warehouse located in the United States that's going to be able to receive returns as well as to ship out products. You don't have to ship out any product from there or you don't really have to receive a return from there, but they just want something that you can put on the application and you can always change it later once you get your account. I also recommend putting your address that's registered for your company in this area. I also recommend inside of here. So basically if you are doing business at home, then you can put your home as your business address or if you have a warehouse space, but just having all these addresses match up makes it more streamlined and it's easier for the application process. Once you have everything, you're then going to go to the application page. Now I have a link down below and this is a link directly from Walmart given to me. So if you would like to apply to sell on Walmart through my link, then you can click that down below. The benefits of using my link are that I can step in and I can actually see the status of your application so that if you're rejected, I can try and help to make sure that you actually get accepted to sell in Walmart. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but it will allow me to see the status of your application and to see if I can help. On this page, you're just going to enter in your first name, your last name, you're going to put your legal business name as it applies on your articles of incorporation or your business document. And then you're going to go ahead and select your market. Then you're going to put your country or region of incorporation. So for me, this would be the United States. Then you'd put in your tax ID. So this is going to be your EIN from the IRS. Then you're going to put in a business email address. So I recommend going ahead and having a professional email address. I personally like to go ahead and use Gmail with my Shopify website. So let's say my website is Noah's Furniture. Then I would have Noah at noahsfurniture.com. However, you can use Gmail or another provider like that. And I've seen a lot of people get accepted with just using Gmail or Yahoo. Then put in your business phone number. And lastly, just put in a password. Then you can go ahead and read the terms of service. You're going to check mark this and then you're going to press create account. After that, you should then receive an email from Walmart saying congrats or something along those lines. And then once you click it, it's then going to allow you to log into your seller account, but you're not live yet. You can't actually list a product. 
you need to go through the three-step verification process. So the three-step verification process looks like this. You have business verification, payments, as well as shipping, and returns is lumped into the shipping. So under verifying your business, you're going to do this by submitting your details and completing your seller profile to ensure tax information is correct with the IRS. And this is also, again, like I said, you wanna make sure that everything lines up. So everything on your EIN document matches up with your business information. And this is what it'll look like. It'll go ahead and it'll ask for your legal business name, your business address, et cetera, and just everything about your company. And then you have to go ahead and you have to fill in the payments. So under the payment processor, you're just going to choose one of the options and you can choose between HyperWallet, you can choose between Payoneer and a couple of others. I recommend using either Payoneer or HyperWallet and I personally use HyperWallet, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because all these are trusted providers and processors by Walmart and you're gonna get your money. So after this, you're just going to set up your shipping details. So you're going to enter in your ship from address or your warehouse, and then you're gonna enter in all the areas that you can ship to. And you're gonna see that you have to go ahead and enter in whether you want this to be weight-based or for total order. Then you have to set your time zone and then you can go ahead and you can register for value as well as standard shipping. Now, when you're just getting started, I recommend leaving it as simple as possible. Just make Make sure that you have the complete map listed and set to six days and just keep it as bare bones and then go ahead and move on to the next step because you can always edit this later. Lastly, you're just gonna have to set up the returns. So here, you're just going to put in your information. This could be the same address as your shipping from address. And then once you're done with that, you're going to select to opt into return labels from Walmart. As a Walmart seller, you need to offer free returns. So once all this is set up, you can then go ahead and move on to the next step. So after you complete the account setup process, Walmart is then going to go ahead and look at your application. And then you're going to hear back from them whether or not you are approved or rejected. This process can take anywhere between two days all the way up to a month for some. It is completely random and it just depends on Walmart's ability to go ahead and verify your information. Along the application, somewhere they might go ahead and they might ask you for the products that you sell. They might contact you via email or they might actually give you a call and they might ask you for a link to your website or if you sell on Amazon or other marketplaces. And this is essentially them just wanting to see your catalog. At the end of the day, once you're accepted, you can go ahead and you can start listing products and start selling on Walmart. If you're rejected, however, there are a couple of things that you can do. First is that you can still log in to the account page. You might not be able to do anything, but there should be an option to create a case and then you can go ahead and create a case if you're rejected. You can also reach out to the account reps via email. So you can try emailing them or just emailing the emails that you get from Walmart. And lastly is if you use my link to apply and get in contact with my reps at Walmart and see if they can help you get approved. So that's how to complete the Walmart application process. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.